What if everything we know about black holes is only half the story? For decades, scientists thought black holes were just cosmic death traps, swallowing anything unlucky enough to cross their path. But new research suggests something much stranger. Instead of being dead ends, black holes might actually be doors, doors to other universes. And the evidence behind this isn't science fiction, it's real, it's disturbing, and it changes the way we look at reality itself. Imagine watching a star explode twice. That's exactly what astronomers saw in 2014 when they studied a supernova 500 million light years away. Normally, when a star dies, it collapses and explodes once, but this one erupted went quiet, then exploded again with even more energy. Scientists call it IPTF14HLS, and they still don't fully understand it. One theory is that instead of collapsing completely, the star's core interacted with a black hole, briefly vanishing into what some think could have been a passageway before re-emerging to fuel the second blast. If true, it means the black hole didn't just consume, it spit something back out like a doorway to somewhere else. What if every black hole has a twin? In 2014, theoretical physicist Carlo Rovelli proposed that black holes might eventually transform into something called white holes. Unlike black holes that only pull things in, white holes are predicted to push everything out. According to Rovelli's math, when a black hole reaches a certain point, it doesn't stay locked forever. Instead, quantum effects could flip it into a white hole, blasting its contents back into another region of space or even into another universe entirely. This is one of the strongest scientific suggestions that black holes could act as cosmic portals instead of cosmic graves. At the center of our own galaxy sits Sagittarius A, a supermassive black hole four million times the mass of the sun. In 2019, telescopes caught it flaring with unprecedented brightness. For a moment, Sagittarius A shone 75 times brighter than usual, then quickly dimmed back down. No one can explain why. Some scientists think the black hole swallowed a passing object. Others wonder if it was a glimpse of energy leaking from somewhere else, hinting that the heart of the Milky Way could be connected to something beyond our universe. Before his death in 2018, Stephen Hawking left behind a final paper that shook the scientific community. In it, he argued that black holes might not be as final as we think. Instead of completely trapping information forever, they could store and release it in ways that hint at a hidden universe. Hawking believed that the event horizon, the point of no return around a black hole, might be more like a hologram. Information could be smeared across it, waiting to reappear somewhere else. If he was right, then black holes aren't just destructive, they're like gateways. It sounds like science fiction, but wormholes are a real solution to Einstein's equations of relativity. In 1935, Albert Einstein and Nathan Rosen proposed that black holes might be linked to something called Einstein-Rosen bridges. In theory, these bridges could connect two distant regions of space or even two separate universes. For decades, it was just math, but in the last few years, physicists running simulations on quantum computers found that particle interactions behaved exactly like tiny wormholes. If wormholes can exist on a small scale, it raises a disturbing question. Are the supermassive black holes we see across the universe actually gigantic portals? In 2019, astronomers announced something that shocked even the most experienced astrophysicists. The discovery of LB1, a black hole sitting quietly in our galaxy about 15,000 light years away. At first glance, it looked like just another stellar black hole, the kind formed when a massive star collapses under its own gravity. But the mass didn't add up. LB1 was measured to be about 70 times the mass of our sun. That number may not sound outrageous on its own, but based on everything we know about how stars live and die, a black hole this size shouldn't exist. Stars that big are expected to shed much of their mass before collapsing, leaving behind a black hole no larger than 20 to 30 solar masses. The the discovery of LB1 blew a hole in those models. Some scientists tried to recheck the math, wondering if the measurements were wrong. Others suggested it might be two smaller black holes orbiting each other, giving the illusion of one giant. But there's also a strange
stranger idea. Some theorists believe LB1 may not be a standard black hole at all, but rather an exotic object, something that mimics the appearance of a black hole while actually connecting to another region of space or even to a parallel universe. The unsettling part is that this object is right in our galactic neighborhood. It isn't sitting billions of light years away. It's relatively close by cosmic standards, quietly breaking the rule of physics we thought we understood. Its existence forces us to admit that either our theories about stellar death are incomplete, or we've stumbled across something far stranger than we ever imagined. There's one rule about black holes that's been drilled into us for decades. Once something crosses the event horizon, it's gone forever. But in 2021, astronomers observed something that seemed to bend that rule. Using the European Southern Observatory's very large telescopes and NASA's New Star Space Observatory, they detected beams of X-ray light coming from behind a supermassive black hole. That should be impossible. Here's what happened. The black hole was actively feeding, pulling in gas and dust. As this material swirled around it, it released bursts of X-ray light. Some of those X-rays appeared to be shining directly from behind the black hole, hidden from view, yet the telescope saw them. The explanation? Well, the black hole's gravity was so extreme that it bent space itself, warping the path of light around its edges and revealing what was otherwise invisible. Physicist Dan Wilkins, one of the lead researchers, admitted that while this was a predicted effect of Einstein's relativity, it was one of the first times humans had ever witnessed it in action. On one hand, it confirmed that relativity is spot on even under extreme conditions, but on the other hand, it raised an eerie thought. If black holes can literally bend reality and let us see around corners of the universe, what else could they be doing behind the curtain? If light can slip past the abyss in this way, could other stranger forms of matter or energy escape too, perhaps in places that we can't even comprehend? At the smallest scales of reality, things stop behaving normally. Physicists call this level quantum foam. Instead of space-time being smooth and continuous, it's thought to bubble and fluctuate wildly, with tiny temporary distortions popping in and out of existence. Black holes, with their extreme density and gravitational pull, may interact directly with this quantum foam in ways we can't yet measure. Physicist Lee Smolin took this further with the bold idea in the 1990s. What if every black hole creates a new universe inside it? He called the theory cosmological natural selection. According to this idea, when matter collapses into a black hole, it doesn't just vanish. Instead, it seeds a brand new universe with slightly different physical laws. That universe then evolves and in turn forms its own black holes, creating even more universes. In this picture, our universe might simply be one child in a vast family tree of universes, each branching out of black holes in its parent. It's a strange but strangely elegant concept, and it means when we look at a black hole, we're not just staring into a cosmic graveyard, we could be looking at a cradle, the birth point of entire realities that exist beyond our own, forever unreachable but constantly forming in the shadows. Few problems in physics are as unsettling as the firewall paradox. It starts with a simple question, what actually happens at the edge of a black hole. According to Einstein's general relativity, if you were unlucky enough to fall in, you wouldn't notice anything special when you crossed the event horizon. You just keep falling, stretched thinner and thinner until you are crushed at the core. But quantum mechanics doesn't agree. In the quantum view, information can't just vanish. Something must mark the crossing of the horizon. That something, according to some physicists, would be a blazing wall of high energy particles, instantly incinerating anything that touched it. The trouble is, both theories are highly respected, both are supported by evidence, and both completely contradict each other in this case. To resolve the paradox, some researchers have suggested that maybe we're asking the wrong question. Maybe black holes don't sit neatly inside our universe at all. Maybe they're connected to another domain where these contradictions don't apply, a place where relativity and quantum mechanics merge seamlessly. If that's true, then the edge of a black hole isn't a wall or a smooth crossing, it's actually a boundary, marking the point where our reality ends and another begins. That possibility makes the firewall paradox 
paradox not just a mathematical puzzle, but a potential signpost to other universes. In 2015, detectors on Earth picked up ripples in space-time itself. These were gravitational waves caused by two black holes colliding over a billion light-years away. But here's the strange part. Some physicists analyzing the data argued that the signal contained echoes, tiny aftershocks that shouldn't exist if black holes are just pits of nothingness. Those echoes suggest that the collision may have opened a doorway, or at least revealed new physics beyond our universe. The possibility shook the field of astrophysics, because if the echoes are real, it means black holes are not just collapsing matter, they're signs of something much bigger. All right, guys, that has been our list for today. Thanks so much for checking it out. I've been your host today, Olivia Kozlowski, and I will see you again soon. Goodbye.